About a two-hour trip by boat from Cancun, Mexico sailfish feed on bait balls during the winter and spring months. Sailfish are called the wolves of the sea. They hunt in packs in violent coordinated attacks. They are predominantly blue to gray in color and have a characteristic erectile dorsal fin known as a sail, which often stretches the entire length of its back. Another notable characteristic is the elongated bill, resembling that of the swordfish and other marlins. They are therefore described as billfish in sport fishing circles. Sailfish are apex predators, feeding mainly on schooling fishes such as sardines, anchovies, mackerel, and jacks. Being at the top of their ocean food chain, billfish don't have regular predators, but they are occasionally eaten, particularly in their juvenile stages, by other large fishes such as tunas, wahoo, and dolphin fishes. They work together to drive schools of baitfish to the surface and use their dorsal fin to herd the school into a tighter and tighter ball. They are found near the ocean surface, usually far from land feeding on schools of smaller fish, like sardines and anchovies, which they often shepherd with their sails, making them easy prey. They also feast on squid and octopus. Sailfish are fairly abundant throughout their range, and their population is considered stable. They are under no special status or protections. Sailfish use their bills to slash at schooling fish. They swim through the fish school at high speed, slashing left and right, then circle back to eat the fish they stun. They swallow their catch whole, head first. Given the speed and power of these fish, when they do spear things, the results can be dramatic. Predators of billfish, such as great white and mako sharks, have been found with billfish spears embedded in them. Billfish can accidentally impale boats and other floating objects when they pursue the small fish that aggregate around them. Care is needed when attempting to land a hooked billfish. Many fishermen have been injured, some seriously, by a billfish thrashing its bill about. Sailfish work cooperatively to corral prey fish, such as sardines, into tight schooling balls, then dart in and out of the balls using their bills to slice the masses into smaller, more manageable pieces. They swat or bat their bills from side to side in order to stun their prey, feeding on the fish until they're all gone. Sailfish grow quickly, reaching 1.2 to 1.5 meters in length in a single year, and feed on the surface or at mid-depths or on smaller pelagic forage fish and squid. Individuals have been clocked at speeds of up to 110 kilometers per hour, which is one of the highest speeds reliably reported in any water organism. The sail in the name sailfish refers to the prominent first dorsal fin, which is taller than the fish's greatest body depth. The sail folds along the top of the fish and can open up in an instant. Sailfish often pop their sails while feeding, perhaps to startle their prey. The sail folds along the top of the fish and can open up in an instant. Sailfish often pop their sails while feeding, perhaps to startle their prey. The sail is normally kept folded down and to the side when swimming, but it may be raised when the sailfish feels threatened or excited, making the fish appear much larger than it actually is. This tactic has also been observed during feeding, when a group of sailfish use their sails to herd a school of fish or squid. Sailfish will actually change their color so that the whole group is aware of their intentions. That way they can work cooperatively to ensure they work in coordination. They can appear in a startling array of colors from subdued browns and grays to vibrant purples and even silver. Their body colors are often highlighted by stripes of iridescent blue and silver dots. Sailfish can change their colors almost instantly since the change is controlled by their nervous system. Their body colors are often highlighted by stripes of iridescent blue and silver dots. The sailfish can rapidly turn its body light blue with yellowish stripes when excited, confusing its prey and making capture easier, while signaling its intentions to fellow sailfish. Nerves send signals to specialized cells, which are found mainly in the skin's dermis layer. They change color by pigment and also produce color structurally through specialized cells rather than with pigment. 
These specialized cells have layers of crystals that reflect light. Wavelengths of light bouncing off them interfere with each other, creating iridescent colors such as metallic blue and silver. Small fish group together in schools to confuse predators, and whenever threatened by a single predator, will close ranks and work together to ensure that no individual becomes an easy meal. However, when marine predators such as sailfish work together, the bait fish's defense can be used against them. Groups of predators can essentially herd the smaller fish into a bait ball, forcing the fish to the surface. When the school is compacted, they take turns darting into and out of the bait ball and slashing their bill to injure or stun the bait fish. The stunned fish are then rapidly consumed. Some sailfish steer the bait ball and others are the aggressors. If a bait ball tries to escape to the bottom, the pack drives the ball back to the surface. The bait ball is driven to the surface to eliminate one direction of escape for the fish. A large bait ball can be consumed in a few minutes. Once the bait ball is consumed, the wolf pack searches for the next school of fish. The sailfish tour offered by ProDive Mexico is a once in a lifetime event if schools of sailfish are present. This can be a strenuous dive, but is worth the effort if sailfish surround a bait ball and the action stays in one location. The boat captains go to where flocks of birds are circling overhead. The boat pulls up to where the birds are flocking overhead, and over the boat you go. You have to swim fast and follow the sailfish that are chasing the bait ball. It takes a few tries to get the hang of it. Suddenly, sailfish can be racing in all directions, trying to congregate the fish into a condensed ball. The activity is frenzy. You will be startled a few times and think you may get speared by a sailfish that happens to be coming right at you and then turns at the last moment. The sailfish circle the sardines and force the bait ball to the surface. The sailfish attack the bait ball from all sides and all angles. Once the bait ball is driven upwards and pinned to the ocean surface, the sailfish dart in and attack the bait ball from all directions. A sailfish uses its sword to slash through the bait ball to stun a sardine. The strikes come from all directions and are amazingly fast and coordinated. The sailfish raise their dorsal fins to herd the sardine bait ball and limit the potential avenues of escape. The action is fast paced and you will get exhausted following the action. One by one, every sardine is eaten until the entire bait ball has been consumed. If you are fortunate, dolphins will enter the fray. The dolphins herd the bait ball in an organized manner. You can hear the dolphin chatter in the water. The experience of a school of sailfish and a pod of dolphins attacking a bait ball is remarkable and excites even the most experienced scuba diver. Isla Cantoy is truly the island of the hunters and the hunted.